Sakoni Scott, if you only knew that a phone call a year ago was going to turn into what I'm looking at right now, you would have made that phone call day one when Thomas, when you went to Thomas's crib and he put you on to the, the business. Bruh, a year ago, January 2015, 2014, you called me excited, pumped up, off the chain with excitement because you had come across the Eric Worre 90 day game plan. And you rolled out for me how going into 2014, our lives was going to be changed by the use of that 90 day game plan. And I'm here today to tell you, you were a prophet. You, that, you were a prophet. Now it didn't materialize into what we thought was gonna happen in the run up from then up until May when we brought ET to Atlantic City. But I'm here to tell you, bruh, after our conversation that we had back in September, when you and I got off the phone from talking with Thomas and you said, dang, the dude is running like crazy. It's unsustainable. It's too much on him and I'm pulling back. And I agree with you, bro. I agree with you wholeheartedly that it was gonna kill Thomas. All right, I know nobody else in, in, in TNT was looking at it like that. Everybody trying to get whatever they could get out the dude. Rain, sleep, no sleep, whatever. But it was wisdom in what you were saying, and I agree with you. And from that day forward, I internalized everything I learned from you coming and doing PBRs and all of the training that you gave me. And all of the, ever since we did the thing in May, when I hooked up with Thomas at every BOM that he did for me and everything, every single training, everything that I learned and studied for the whole year, I sat down from September until now. And I know it feels like your boy pulled back. I didn't pull back. I went into the lab. And what I'm happy to announce and to tell you is this. When you reached me off of that cruise with that phone call and told me to look at the opportunity, right? What you didn't realize was I was on an 18 year journey and I've been telling you this over and over again. I had been on an 18 year journey taking every resource that has come into my life, big, small, huge, medium size, every single resource, no matter what it was, whether it was a close connection in New York, or whether it was Don Howard introducing me to dry washing guard, or, or my basketball abilities when I moved to Chicago, or me moving to Orlando, Florida, and realizing that it's the number one tourist attraction in the world, and all of the water attractions and all of the swimming pools and all of the hotels and resorts need lifeguards. And I went into the inner city and did a training program where I gave access to at-risk kids to learn how to become lifeguards. Just because I had access, I was in an area where the number one tourist attraction and they paying people to be lifeguards, but our people don't, can't take those jobs because they don't know how to do CPR. They don't know how to do the strokes and the swims to save people's lives. So I created a program and I gave the kids the access and they started getting the jobs. All right. So all I've been on an 18 year journey, taking every resource that's come into my life, no matter what it is. And figuring out a way to take and expose other people 